Lucy, say hello to the people. Good girl. So, hello YouTube. How are you today? So we're going to make another video this morning. So although it's kind of afternoon now. But this morning I did do something which is kind of neat. So I went and picked a bunch of watermelons. And I want you to see some of what we got out here. Put it over here inside this truck. Check this out. I think we pulled 15 watermelons this morning. There's plenty more over there, but there's 15 good sized ones in here. And I wanted to record this for you guys and see if we can figure out what's the heaviest one of them all and, and get a total weight of all these watermelons. What's up guys? Let's see if this uh, microphone here works. Should work pretty well. I don't know if you guys can see me, but uh, I'm going to take this uh, tailgate here and I'm going to weigh some of these watermelons. But you guys can come along with me. Let's we'll see what the biggest one is. I think that's good enough. It may not fit perfect, but let me just see if I can get the legs on the grooves there. All right. Watermelon one. It's very difficult to see. Is 31.6 pounds. That's a good size watermelon right there. I have a feeling this one's going to be the biggest one, so I'm going to save it for last. But uh, 31.6 pounds. Watermelon one. This is a little tiny one. This little, little guy here. Only 19.2 pounds. Not even worth it. All right. This one's got, looks like it was damaged or something. It's an odd one. Twenty five point two pounds. We're getting some weight here. Put these over here. Done versus not done. All right, let's continue this. So we got three down. Let's do this fourth one. This guy is 24.6 pounds. This guy right here is pretty solid too. One thing I noticed on these as well, which might be a sign of maturity, is that they've got these ridges that might mean that they're more well done. That's a 33.2 pounder. That's a good size watermelon right there. These are big watermelons. Thirty-three point eight pounds. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you like this kind of stuff. 
because this is a lot of extra work. It's crazy. It's 28.4 pounds. This is actually a sugar baby that we got, which is obviously different. It's got a really crazy bright spot on it. But this guy's pretty heavy for a sugar baby. 17.8 pounds on that. This one looks big, but it's actually fairly light. It feels like it. Or I'm just super strong. It's 26 pounds. I guess compared to the other ones, it is fairly light. It's hard to get them to stay on. Thirty two point four pounds again. All right. I have to start going back here. Oh. Twenty seven point four. Okay. That one says 28.42. I want to make sure I'm not to uh, need to reset this down to zero. Just to make sure. Yeah, 28.4. So it's the same weight as the other one. That last one. They are about the same size. So. Alright. Oh. Twenty nine point four. This bad boy here. Oh my goodness. All right, we got one more, which is the biggest one in the group. I mean, this thing is massive. That's a big watermelon right there. This is she thick boy. She thick boy. My goodness. Oh. Forty point two pounds. This is a forty pound watermelon. Man, that's pretty sweet. Forty pound watermelons. These guys are fun to pull out of the field. We've got a lot more in there actually. We got some that are probably about as heavy as this one in there. Um, we still got a lot of a lot of watermelon picking to do. Those little sugar babies that we have, they've there are tons of them. We haven't really picked many of those, but they're ready to go. Um, the thing with watermelon is it's actually outside of dehydrating. There's really not a whole lot you can do to uh, preserve watermelons. You got to eat it. So this is one of those things that uh, what we're going to do is we'll have plenty for ourselves, but we donate to our neighbors 
you know, the, our neighbors up the street have a bunch of kids and they like watermelon. So we grew more watermelon than we, we need for sure. And uh, so we're going to go donate some of them. And we uh, have a church up the street too that we might donate to. And we're going to just give as many of these away as we can, but we're going to keep a few of them. Might keep this big beast here. I don't know, we'll see. That is a heck of a watermelon. We might actually give that one away to the family next door. Because uh, between Amy and I, that's not, uh, we don't get that deep in these, unfortunately. And the chickens have had way too much watermelon as is. So, it's time to give them away. Give them to put them to a place that will actually use them. But uh, I wanted to at least talk about our recorded weight on what we picked up so far just this morning this isn't counting all the other ones that we've picked up uh, and eaten or given away but this is uh, a big watermelon we're pretty excited we haven't i haven't really been able to grow watermelon before i've always had issues with it um, but this year we made sure we had a concerted effort to put weed fabric down we grew this uh, through weed fabric as well so um, it doesn't have to have the ground um, you know, except for where the, the root starts, but, but, uh, we grew this on top of weed fabric and it kept the weeds down and it clearly got plenty of water through that one stalk, the main root and, um, can create some watermelons. So if you're wondering if you can do that, put weed fabric down and start planting in, in the holes, burn holes in the weed fabric and plant in it. I think this is proof that you can. All right, well, that's all I've got for today. I just want to do a quick update on these these big fat watermelon. I just like hitting them. I don't know why. I'm going to smack them. But uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And be sure and like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll bring you more content here. All right, guys. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you on the other side. Bye.